and see if you can talk to your Patrick. So I called after three hours and uh, Patrick was uh, awake. So we told Patrick that uh, Jack is there uh, and wanted to, Jack wanted to talk to him. So he took the phone and uh, as usual, he used, he used to call me Mulokolo, the son of Mulo, son of Olo. And I used to call him Ursumba Koraja, the son of Sumba, the son of Raja. So we talked and uh, it was, uh, it, his mind was very clear. So he told my husband, what, what's wrong? Uh, what has happened again? And then he explained to me the problems that uh, he had uh, uh, looking from a home. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, pneumonia, pneumonia, yeah. So, but I was under medication and uh, that was uh, uh, rapidly recovering. I told him, okay, I keep up taking the medicines, I hope you will be fine soon. So I used to call him every two days, uh, even if I didn't get it, I used to talk to the sisters or uh, to the brother. Of the, just three days before he died, I called Patrick. And the guy was, I couldn't believe he will be dead in three days. In fact, he is even the one that day who informed me, which I did not know, that Pinto had joined the Shopping University. He asked me, dear, do you know that Pinto is uh, at Lynch Shopping University? I told him, no, I don't know that, I'm not aware of that. Then he told me, me too, I didn't know, but Nagem told me the other day, she called me and informed me that Pinto is at Lynch Shopping University. Can you make contact with him or with him? Because he knows I'm not living in Lynch Shopping uh, anymore. He asked me, are there any people, any of our people, uh, Kenyans who live there who can, uh, uh, you can contact? I said, no, there are no other Kenyans there. But my niece, uh, who was living with me, is still there. Then he told me, okay. Try and contact her so that they know each other. I said, okay, buddy, I will do that. Ironically, the same day when I called, uh, the, the MP, the level MP was also with them uh, in the hospital. So, uh, what I found funny yesterday, all the uh, uh, what I was surprised about yesterday, when I met the Prime Minister, uh, it was recently in uh, France before he came here. Then the Kenyan ambassador in, uh, in France informed him that uh, that same day, when I was telling him that uh, I talked to Patrick that day, then they were saying there must have been something happening which Patrick maybe knew, or it, uh, we, we can't put it somewhere, because Patrick called the Kenyan ambassador to France. And he told the man that there is uh, uh, a nephew, his nephew, who is uh, studying in France. And he wanted this uh, man to trace uh, this guy, so the, the, this nephew of his, so that they can know each other, so that he can get some help when he needs it. So the, the ambassador, uh, who is also a friend of his, called uh, the boy and the boy came to him and they talked and they called the hospital again the same evening and informed Patrick that uh, I've talked to your nephew and uh, uh, he now knows where I am and he knows also, I also know where he is. So it looks like uh, it was just a matter of like, coincidence, but one wonders uh, when such things happen. It shows that there was somebody who is, uh, he, he cares about people who are close to him, even when he's near to his death. He thought about his son, which he informed me about. He thought about his nephew, whom he contacted the ambassador about. That shows what heart this man had, even when he was to die three days after. So, 
But that happened like that. And uh, after that, uh, there were uh, things which were to be straightened. So I, I talked to the, to the relatives all the time. One thing they told me to pass to you, oh, Kenyans and uh, Africans, friends, uh, is their gratitude towards the concern. And in fact, even Paddy, before he died, he told me to uh, tell Kenyans and friends how much he appreciates the, the concern that has been shown. Uh, the family are very grateful too. We are still in contact. And in fact, they were supposed, Patrick was supposed to be married on uh, 20, they were thinking about 22nd, up to 25th day. But I suggested to them that uh, since we were planning to have uh, this uh, 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 service, uh, I asked if uh, they could postpone it. By that time, they still didn't know uh, how long uh, the Prime Minister was going to be here. So they said, okay. I talked to Arthur Nemo, who said, okay, I'm open to, uh, to that service. I'm open to the changes. I told him I don't know anything, I have to contact our people in Stockholm so that uh, we agree then I'll get back to you. I contacted uh, Dada, uh, Daktari and uh, Osewe and uh, Ellen was also involved. So we agreed that uh, 31st would be the best date for the burial. At that time they had also known that uh, Mr. Oliga would not be in Kenya so they thought also that uh, it was the best day. So that is the way it is, and the Prime Minister told me to, to apologize that he could not he had been asked by some of us to be here with us today. Unfortunately, because of his uh, squeezed uh, appointment and because he was also supposed to fly to London by 2 o'clock today, he said he could not attend. So that is uh, where we stand now. And uh, as I said, uh, the family uh, said that uh, if we get anything, anything, then we can help them. It will fill somewhere, a gap somewhere. And uh, as Ellen has said, has explained the reason why uh, Rosemary is not here and the children, I think it is uh, very clear. Uh, the, it's very clear, but I didn't, I didn't know why uh, she was not here, but I now understand uh, why she's not here. So, I don't have much I can say. I just hope that we continue with this spirit. And uh, even if we are far away, don't think that I can only come when it is my friend. I live far away. I don't live in Lake Shopping now. About five hours drive to this place. But if anything happens to any of us, we are still. I know if something happens to me, I know most of you who know me will come to be with my family. So I must also be with your family when you are in need. I thank you very much for listening to me. I'm back here again. And I want to thank you very much for having managed to attend today's ceremony for the late Patrick Sumba. And I want also to thank you for a generous contribution towards his burial. The amount uh, received today started, I have to announce this because it came from very far. It came from uh, a friend a brother and also a very, very close uh, associate of the late Sumba and the whole group. His name is uh, Philip Ukelo Patuda. He, he, is, he lives in Canada. He sent me a check of 1,000 krona, which started the onset of this uh, Arabi today. The collection of today came to 6,100. Praise the Lord for that. Thank you.